Hello and welcome to a numbers edition of Apple A Day. This episode continues my series on numeric functions within Apple Numbers. Today I'll be covering the mRound function. In my last video, I went over round, round up, and round down. And here's a link to that video right here. I've also included it in the description. So mRound is a little bit different. It still performs rounding, but with the added bonus to round to a specified factor. For instance, you can round to the nearest multiple of six if that's what you needed to do. So let's jump right in with a demonstration. I've got a numbers document open with some sample values to be rounded. In the second column, in the first row, I'll type in the equal sign to bring up the formula editor. I'll type in M round and press return. And you can see it takes two parameters. The first one is the number to round. So I'll just go ahead and select the cell containing an example number. Then I'll press tab to move to the second parameter. And here's where this differs from the regular round functions. This parameter is the factor. I'll use the example I mentioned earlier and type in a value of six. I'll press return, but before I do anything else, I'm gonna quickly copy this formula and paste it into the remaining cells in the column. So what is happening here is the value is going to be rounded to the nearest factor of six. It'll round up or down. So let's go over the results. So a value of one rounds down to zero because zero is closer to one than six. And zero is always the first number for all factors. Two also rounds down to zero. Three is at the halfway point, so that rounds up to six. Just like if we were rounding 1.5 to the nearest whole number, that will round up to two rather than down to one. Four and five also round up to six, and six, of course, just stays at six. Seven and eight round down to six, and nine will round up because it's the halfway point between six and 12. And continuing, 10 and 11 also round up to 12, and 12 stays at 12. Rounding also works on decimal numbers. 8.9 rounds down to six, and 9.1 rounds up to 12, as would be expected. So what about negative numbers? Minus 14 seems to have caused an error. If I click on the error message, numbers tells us that M round requires both numbers to be positive or negative. So no mismatching with the sign. So if I redo the formula, I'll type equals again and M round and press return. I'll select the minus 14 cell and press tab to move to the factor parameter. And here I'll enter a negative number and type in minus nine. If I press return, minus 14 was rounded to minus 18, which is the nearest factor of nine. Basically the same logic that the positive numbers have. But what if you need to round a mix of positive and negative numbers? Well, that's where we can use the if function. The if function can run a test to see if the number is positive or negative, and then we can use that to supply either positive or negative numbers in the mRound function. I've already created a detailed tutorial on the if function, and the link for it is right here. It's also in the description below. I'm gonna add a few more numbers here, minus 13, 21, and minus 25. And I wanna test zero as well. Then at the top of the third column, I'll type in the equal sign to bring up the formula editor, type in if and press return. In the if expression parameter, I want to test if the number we're gonna round is greater than or equal to zero. In other words, test if it's positive. So I'll select that cell and type in the greater than sign followed by the equal sign and then type in zero. Then I'll press tab to move to the next parameter. And this is the if true parameter. And this is what occurs if that equation is true. In other words, if the value is positive. And here I wanna type in M round and press return and select the cell with the number to round and press tab to go to the factor parameter of M round and I'll type six again. So that'll round the number exactly as it did before. I'll press tab again and this goes to the if false parameter. And this is where we enter the M round formula for negative numbers. I'll type in M round again and press return, select the cell with the number in it and then press tab to go to the factor parameter so we know that the number to round is a negative number. And for us to perform the M round function, the factor also needs to be a negative number. So instead of typing six, I'll type in minus six. Then I'll press return and I'll copy and paste this into all of the cells. And right away you can see that it's working. 
It matches the numbers we already got in the second column. They're all positive. So let's jump down to minus 14. So minus 14 rounds to minus 12. But here it says minus 18. But if you remember, we used a factor value of minus 9 to get us to that minus 18 in this example. Next, minus 13 rounds to minus 12 as well. 21 rounds up to 24. And minus 25 rounds to minus 24. And 0 stays at 0. So that's a good use of the if function to get around this formula limitation with the m round function. So that's pretty much it for m round. There are two other functions that do rounding with factors, and that's ceiling and floor. And I'll be going over those in an upcoming episode. Thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment too. My name is John Martins, and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple A Day.